Hi everyone, my name is Trent and as most of you already know, I live, travel, game, and work out of my van. And today I have found myself in the beautiful historic city of Savannah, Georgia. But I had to come here because I gotta get some chores done. I need to wash clothes, I need to take a shower, buy some groceries, catch up on some work, and uh, I'm taking you guys along for the ride. So yeah, it's gonna be one of those videos, but it's gonna be interesting. And that's mainly because throughout this video, I will be using the ASUS RT-AX57 GO travel router, which is a router specifically designed and built for people like me who live, travel, work, and game on the road. And this thing comes with some very, very cool functions that I'll get into throughout this video so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end but for now I think I'm gonna finish this walk around town with Millie and then I'm thinking about hitting this coffee shop up the road to get some work done All right, bye Millie, I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, I gotta catch up on some work and there's this cool local coffee shop up the road here that I wanna check out. And I always love going to local places whenever I'm in unique cities like this because one, it gives me a taste of the culture a little bit and two, it gives me some social interaction which is very much needed for me because I travel alone. Hi, can I just do a 12 ounce cold brew? Yeah. All right, folks, here is my coffee shop editing suite. Pretty fancy if you ask me. I got my editing set up on my main monitor and then on my second monitor I've got my music catalog and all my footage and then of course we've got our travel router that we're hooked up to and it's directly being powered off of my laptop which I think is really cool. But while this coffee shop offers public Wi-Fi I'm actually connected to VLG wireless internet and VLG wireless internet actually stands for Van Life Gaming Wireless Internet which is actually my private network Work, and it's coming directly from this travel router. And while this router doesn't produce its own internet, basically what I'm doing is utilizing its public WISP mode, which is the public Wi-Fi internet service provider mode. And this router is connected to the coffee shop's public Wi-Fi. However, I created my own private network within that public Wi-Fi so I could securely and safely connect to the internet with my laptop. And this is actually really, really important because it adds an extra layer of security when you're browsing online in a public place like this because if you're connected to public Wi-Fi, your system and all your information is very, very vulnerable. There's not a lot of security there, but being on your own private network adds another layer of security. But I'm gonna get to catching up on some work here, enjoy this coffee shop's atmosphere, and finish drinking my coffee. And then I think I'm gonna maybe try to find a place to do some laundry, take a shower, and some other things. I don't know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to get to work. All right. Well, that was a nice hour or so of work. I finished up a video, caught up on some emails, so I'm feeling pretty good. And now next up on my to-do list is to do some laundry. And there's actually a laundromat down the road here right next to a dog park. So I think I'm gonna do some laundry, let Millie play around a little bit and clean up the van while we wait on laundry to finish. Millie, how you doing? How you doing girl? Good job holding down the fort while I was gone. Do you wanna to go to the dog park? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, no, no, not yet. We gotta drive there first. <laughs> hang tight, hang tight.
All right, laundry is in and washing, and this is how I do laundry. A lot of you guys ask about that all the time. How am I able to wash my clothes? And this is it. I go to laundromats around town and do my washing there. Usually it's about 10, 15 bucks, depending on the load, which is not too bad if you ask me. But while we wait for all my laundry to get done, I'm uploading a new video to YouTube. However, I ran into a little bit of a predicament here. My Starlink dish is kind of pointed directly at this billboard and these trees here. And if you know anything about Starlink, little obstructions like that can make your signal be a little spotty. It'll drop in and out here and there. So a cool thing that this travel router does is I can tether my Starlink to my Verizon hotspot here to increase the stability of my internet, which is so freaking cool. Something I've been wanting to do for so long. And basically what that means is it's using my Starlink as my main internet. However, if Starlink drops out because of these obstructions here, it'll seamlessly just connect to my Verizon hotspot so I don't lose internet for a second or two. Which is freaking amazing if you're in the middle of doing something where you need good internet stability like uploading YouTube video, playing a game, streaming something, or doing a video call. And while my hotspot is plugged into the router, it's also charging it at the same time, which is pretty cool. And if I wanted to, I could plug up my phone to the router and it'll use my phone as a hotspot. But since I have a separate hotspot, I decided to use that instead. But this thing is super cool, man. I'm really loving this thing. It's small, it's super lightweight, and I really want to figure out a way to bypass my Starlink modem slash router and just completely just use this router as my main routing source, which it is possible and I plan to do that later in the video. But for now, I think Millie and I are gonna hit up the dog park. Okay. Millie, you ready to go to the dog park? Come on, let's go. Wow, this is a beautiful dog park. However, <laughs> I don't see any other dogs, which was the whole point of coming here so Millie could get some social interaction. <laughs> but honestly, she's an only child. She knows how to have fun by herself, so she's good. But man, what a beautiful day today. It's like a high of 68 Fahrenheit. We've got clear skies. It's a nice spring day, the perfect day to do some van life chores. <laughs> but honestly, I actually really love chore day like this. It's therapeutic for me. I love cleaning up the van and getting stuff done. It makes me feel real good. So I'm having a blast today. I don't know about you guys. Ooh, I think I see some dogs over there. Millie, let's go say hey, come on. Hello everyone. <laughs> good. Good girl, Millie. Very good dog. Beautiful dogs. How about yours? Oh, this is Millie. Millie. Yep. Hi, Millie. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, Millie, don't jump. <laughs> I know. Yes, Millie. There we go. <laughs> She's having so much fun. <laughs> Alright Millie, you ready to go? It was nice meeting you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Good job Millie. Well that was fun. Met some nice people, met some nice dogs. Can't complain. <laughs> but it's probably about time to go change over my laundry. It's probably done washing, so let's get out of here, Millie. Come on.
Okay, laundry is changed over, it is finally drying. And while that dries, I think I'm going to try and do a nice, good sweep of the van. Millie and I have been enjoying the beach this past like week or so, and in that process, we have dragged in a ton of beach sand in the van. So I'm gonna try to sweep and vacuum this place up, wipe down the counters, get it nice and squeaky clean before we bring in this fresh new laundry. I'm traveling and I'm, yeah, I'm just traveling across the country and I like filming stuff like this. Good People, you. what's that? Good for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> thank you. All right, the van is all squeaky clean, free from dirt, grime, and beach sand. I cleaned every inch of this van and it's feeling real good. However, I haven't made my bed just yet because I need to buy a new fitted sheet. My other one was in bad shape, so I'll probably do that tonight before I go and shower. But my video is uploaded and posted, and that took about an hour and a half to upload, mainly because it's a super long video and it's 4K. But I really do think having the ability to tether my hotspot to my Starlink really helped in this situation considering the obstructions outside. But the sun has officially set, however, the day is not over. I need to head to Walmart, grab a fitted sheet, among a few other things, and then I'm gonna head to Planet Fitness and shower, and then last but not least, find a place to sleep for the night. So, let's get to it. All right, I found a place to settle down for the night, smack dab in the middle of the city. However, I'm on this nice private secluded street. I just took Millie on a nice little walk around and it feels pretty safe here. So we're gonna call this place home for the night and I'm feeling clean, the van's feeling clean. I got all my chores done. And now it's time to chill out in the van, play some games, make some food and finally relax. So I'm gonna start setting up Starlink and trying to implement this new travel router from Asus into my system and show you guys a few more cool features on it.
Okay, so the goal right now is to figure out how to permanently integrate the ASUS RTAX 57 GO travel router into my current internet setup. And I use Starlink for my internet and I have for years. However, there have been rumors that if you replace the kit router that the Starlink kit comes with, with a third party router like this travel router right here, it increases both stability and speeds. Now, I don't know if there's any truth to that, but we're gonna find out today. But what I do know for sure is that having the ability to tether a hotspot to your Starlink is 100% going to increase my stability, which I'm really excited about. And in order to integrate this router into my system, I'm going to have to bypass the Starlink router, which basically will make this a power brick, essentially. It won't be using any of the router functions. It'll just be a power source for the dish that's on the roof of my van. But the whole reason I wanna do this is one, having the ability to tether a hotspot, obviously, but also the RTAX 57 GO comes with a lot of other cool features like AI protection, which is really great because it'll scan your network and notify you if there are any infected devices on your network or trying to get on your network. And you don't really think about that being an issue for someone like me, you know, living and traveling out of a van because I'm often not in cities like this. But also I find myself caravanning with other van lifers quite a bit and not everyone has Starlink internet like I do, so I often let people use my internet when I'm on the road with other people. And if they have an infected device and connect to my internet, that could be potentially putting my devices and me at risk. So having that AI protection through this router is pretty freaking great. And the best part is it's free. It's part of the router. Like most other routers, it's a subscription service, but with this router, it comes free with it. So in order for this to work with my current Starlink system, I'll have to run an ethernet cable out from the ethernet adapter, which is coming from my Starlink router into the WAN port on this travel router. And then from the travel router, I'll go out into my computer. Simple enough. And I'm thinking about mounting this bad boy right here. By the way, guys, you guys are not allowed to judge me for my cable management skills. That is not my strong suit, which is why I hide everything in this little corner right here. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I've got going here. I mounted the router to the wall with some screws and it's not permanent, but it's on there snug. So if I wanna take it on the go, I still can. And then I Velcroed my hotspot on top of it and it is plugged in to the USB port. And right now I'm powering the router via AC power. I don't have a way right now to power it via DC power other than plugging it into my laptop, but I wanna figure out a better solution later. And then out of the Starlink ethernet adapter, I'm coming out with an ethernet cable into the router's WAN port. And if I want to hardwire my laptop, I can come out of the LAN port with an ethernet cable into my laptop. All right, everything is all booted up. I am in the router's settings right now, just verifying everything's working correctly. And it is. And Asus also has an app for your phone so you can monitor what's going on in the router, change settings, through your phone. And right here we can see the real-time traffic that's coming through the router. And you can see right here we are connected via dual WAN. So let's check and see. Yep, our mobile hotspot tethering is connected. And now I wanna go into my Starlink app and bypass the Starlink router and go straight to the Asus router every time I boot up. If we go down on the settings on the router, we're gonna go to bypass mode and slide to bypass. All right, and just like that, we are in bypass mode. All right, so I just did a quick little speed test. We're getting 120 down, 22 up, and 42 ping, which is not too bad. But now that everything is finally set up and plugged in, I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna play a few games of Overwatch and really test the stability, see how it feels, see if it feels any different. But ultimately, I'm ready to relax and hang out in this squeaky clean van. So that's what I'm gonna do.
play of the game right there, baby. Play of the game. This ends now. <laughs> Two down. Dang! Dude, that felt so freaking good. Holy crap. I didn't have a single lag spike. I was just melting people. Which way is Starlink faced? Oh, well, we do have a clear sky for Starlink. I don't know if that tree over there is causing any obstructions or anything. So I really don't know if it ever changed over to my hotspot, but either way, I'm glad I have that option. But I think after all this work today, getting all our chores done, implementing this new setup to our internet system in our van, I've worked up quite an appetite. So I think it's about time to make some dinner. Okay, so what's on the menu tonight is something simple. It's getting kind of late, so I don't want to make anything too extravagant. So I've got some leftover french fries from eating out the other night, and I got some eggs, tortillas, an avocado, and some hot sauce. So I'm just gonna make some very, very simple breakfast tacos. Dinner is served. It's nothing fancy now, but I guarantee this is going to be delicious. Leftover french fries with just some eggs, avocado, and some hot sauce on a tortilla. <laughs> Ooh, it's so good. So I'm gonna sink my teeth into this, do my farm runs on RuneScape, watch a good show, and just wind down for the rest of the night. We got a lot done today. I feel very productive, very good, and I am just ready to feast and relax. So that's what I'm gonna do. Good morning, everyone. I slept fantastic. Really, really well, actually. This city street that I was parked on was super quiet last night. I expected that since I was stealth camping in the city, I'd get woken up to like car horns, sirens, whatever, but I didn't. I slept like a king. But Millie and I are starting off our day with our morning stroll around the town. And man, I just cannot get over how beautiful this place is. All of these mossy trees hanging over the roads here. These beautiful, beautiful buildings. Like, look at this. These are apartments right here. That is so cool. Now I've said multiple times in my videos in the past that I'm not really a city guy and neither is Millie. Cities are often too overstimulating for us and we just like our silence and peace you know however i don't know if it's because savannah is like a smaller city or what but i have really enjoyed my time here but unfortunately i can't stay for longer like i'd like to i've got to head off to the next destination so we're gonna finish our walk pack up the van and hit the road
All right, everyone, I think this is the end of today's adventures. I just wanna say thank you for following along and thank you to Asus for sponsoring this video. It's been really, really cool to test out this new travel router, which I freaking love. And I definitely recommend you get the travel router for yourself if you plan to live, travel, game, work on the road like I do. And if you wanna grab one for yourself, you can tap the link in the description of this video. But with that being said, thank you all for watching this video all the way to the end. I appreciate you so much. If you wanna get access to extra content from me, I have tons of extra content on my Patreon that you can go watch right now if you go and support me over there. And huge shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. You guys are crazy. We have so many now, which I'm very, very thankful for. But Millie and I are headed off to the next destination. We will see you guys in the next video.